Honorable <coughs> Sir, thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak on the address of the President of India to the Parliament. I am very happy to <coughs> be here because the past of India is our glory. Presence is the truth and the future is the hope. So we always depend on the past for the foundation, but today I feel after reading the, after hearing the address of the Prime Minister that the present is the foundation for the future. I don't think the past is the foundation, but today's presence is, present is the uh, foundation for the future. There is tremendous uh, growth that is happening in the country. Our heritage has been very much appreciated in the West for the last 50 years. And uh, though we don't call it as a change or conversion, we change of heart is happening in the West in, on the influence of Indian history. Yoga and Ayurveda and uh, our spiritual leaders have gone abroad. They have been preaching in the West, the Indian philosophy, Indian spirituality. And uh, we find that tremendous attraction is towards India. And they want to live in India and they want to be true Indians in the spirit. I am very happy to see that the present government under Modi ji has uh, tremendous uh, growth on the present uh, philosophy like there is development it gives encouragement to reach the sky. This is my, the government says that consolidating heritage and giving priority to development is a very important message to all. I had been, recently I had been to Kashi, and I have seen the transformation there. And I couldn't believe my own eyes because I had been twice earlier. And I am from Manjunatha Temple in Dharmasthala, and down south. And we to Vishwanatha Temple in the uh, North India, tip of top of North India. And I find that so many resemblances have happened in the uh, both uh, dhams, in the Manjunatha Dham, and also in the Ayodhya Dham. The progress that is achieved not only in Ayodhya, but Kedar Dham, Kedarna Dham, and uh, Mahakal Mahalok is not only surprising Indians, but we feel very proud about it. We feel proud that our uh, heritage is not neglected, and many of our uh, people in the south, they wonder how this transformation can happen. So developing pilgrimage centers and the historical legacy is another important eye on which the government lays. I think this is what is very important because our youths today are not, uh, uh, they are well informed about spirituality and philosophy. We feel that they are youngsters with the modern outlook, but they feel very proud about the past. At the same time, they are very well informed than what we were in their age. I think when I was about 18, 20 years, I was denied of all the information with the today's youth have. There is television, there are internet connections, there are so many uh, information that's available through other media. And uh, I think the youngsters are much more informed than us at their age, whatever. But today, they must be given proper information about the changes that's happening in the world. Opportunities have to be created for the young. I'm very happy that the government is giving encouragement to the youngsters to have options in all education field, in uh, the field of all education, including engineering, medical, to the common education in the primary to high schools. Tremendous support is given for education uh, in the villages. It's also hard to note that uh, some of the uh, spiritual places have not only been uh, preaching spirituality, but also giving modern knowledge. It is said that uh, Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat is the message which is given by the Honorable Prime Minister. And this is one of the best messages that we have because we were divided by the British rule into several zones. And New North, East, West, South, as your Honorable Chairman is obviously speaking, you are not belonging to any, we, are, we belong to one India and Ek Bharat, Ek India, we belong to that. So, in the languages are not uh, separating us, languages are uniting us. And today, I feel that uh, yoga and Ayurveda is again becoming popular because the Honorable Prime Minister's intervention. The June month is awaited very eagerly to see that yoga is preached uh, throughout the world. Health is the one, uh, one thing which cannot be borrowed or purchased. 
the conscious, uh, con being conscious of health, <coughs> being conscious of uh, the fitness of the body is very, fitness of body and mind is very important. So the importance given to yoga and naturopathy not only keeps our generation fit and uh, also mentally alive, and also I feel that this is the uh, best uh, uh, future we can have. We, instead of preparing for uh, pharmacy, we are preparing for a good health without drugless society has been created. Today, natural farming is encouraged and traditional millet crops are very much encouraged. We are into this field for the last uh, 12, 15 years and our farmers who were thought that, were thinking that millets are for the poor, now millets have become the food of the rich and the very blessed ones. And uh, we have, uh, and along with that, we have, uh, we have not forgotten the development of modern technology like nano area. So it is said that we are looking at the millet and uh, other uh, food, uh, food practice habits. At the same time, we are also looking at the modern technology, which using nano, we can grow more, grow more food, grow more ha happy, be happy. Uh, the farmers can be more happy with the minimum investment. And uh, while uh, uh, smart facilities in the cities are developing, map of mapping of the villages has happened. And people are guaranteed of their property and the, well, people are given guarantee of the land that is they possess. So uh, while 75th Amrit Mahasav are built in every district on the occasion of Azadik Amrit Mahasav, at the same time hundreds of modern Vande Bharat trains are also being launched. This is said by the Honorable President. I think this is where we think that uh, Future is future should be assured. We want uh, assurance that uh, our future generation will be happy and healthy, and uh, they will be very honest also. So both being honest at the same being prosperous is very important. Being honest and prosperous is very important. So under the government is looking at honesty at the same time prosperity both together. I wish that in the future there will be more uh, such uh, occasions where. We can think of Shrest Bharat, one, uh, one India and one Bharat, Shrest Bharat. I am very happy that Baswana is quoted in the uh, message that Kayakava Kailasa, labor is the greatest service to the humanity and the Shiva. So I once again thank uh, Honorable President for quoting uh, Baswana's Kayakava Kailasa, which means karma is worship and Shiva is the karma himself. So with these words, I communicate my appreciation for this uh, speech and uh, I am assured that India will have a great future in the years to come and we are all going to share this <coughs> at present. We don't know about tomorrow because of our age, but we know today is the best foundation for the tomorrow. Thank you.